Hi, I'm Linda Crossfield, and I'm going to read you some poems for National Poetry Month. It's April. It's not the kind of National Poetry Month we usually expect, where there are readings and book launches and all kinds of wonderful things to do with wor the written word going on. And of course, this year we can't. Uh, I would like to thank the Federation of BC Writers for instigating this uh, reading and the League of Canadian Poets for funding it, and also the Kootenai Gallery of Art in Castlegar, which is where this reading would have been held had we been able to hold it. I would have been reading with my friends Susan Andrews Grace and Jane Byers, and they are both recording their poems, so you'll be able to hear them too. At any rate, thank you to all, and um, I'm going to start with a poem that I wrote early December. Um, it's called Distraction Guaranteed, and when it, I first wrote it, it was called Abstraction Guaranteed, but that didn't make a lot of sense, so after a bit of tweaking, as happens with poems, of course, it became Distraction Guaranteed, and I find it interesting because it's almost prescient in a way, um, given how things have unfolded since I wrote the poem. Distraction Guaranteed. There are days I throw words at the page in a Jackson Pollock splatter. I rage, count the days until this madness decides if it goes or stays. I watch with admiration all the ways I distract myself. Lines expand, contract as I redact ideas that float and sink. Ignore the ink that tries and fails to set them free. Word soup swimming in a notional sea that invites me in so generously, then tries to pull me under. Some days I search for unfamiliar roots to bring me past uncertainty to truth. Sometimes I find the time to stop and stare at all of the conundrums lurking there. Other days I rise and acquiesce, paint on a mouth and eyes, put on a dress, and sashay out to meet the day's demands an extra hand to lighten a load, lift up, caress, or shake. Then there are days I don't cooperate. I spurn the thought of getting out of bed, stay inside my house, my room, my head. <laughs>